Hi friends, welcome to day 4 current affairs. Today our first news is, India approves two COVID-19 vaccines for emergency use. This was approved by CDSCO, Central Drugs and Standards Committee. The two vaccines are from, one is Bharat Biotech, Hyderabad based and Serum Institute of India, Pune based. COVID Shield by Serum Institute of India which was based on the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and Covaxin by Bharat Biotech. These two vaccines got approved for emergency use by CDSCO. Next, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India slashes limits for trans fat levels in foods. Actually earlier it was the permissible limit of, was 5%. Now the amount of trans fat in oils and fats are capped at 3% for 2021 and it should come to 2% by 2022. This has been brought into effect through an amendment which is uh, prohibition and restriction on sales regulation. Transfers, what is transfers? Transfers are a form of unsaturated fat associated with number of negative health effects. Generally you can see uh, the um, transfers you can observe in the oil which is used in uh, frying the french fries in some fast food areas. Next, artificial transfers is created during hydrogenization which converts liquid vegetable oils into semi-solid partially hydrogenated oil. These fats are largely produced artificially but also occur naturally. The major sources of artificial trans fats are the partially hydrogenated vegetable oils PHVO like Vanaspati, Margarine. Next, Government ropes in IT department to crack down on GST fraud. Uh, from last 2-3 years, the government finance ministry is telling that there is a large GST fraud is happening. Uh, so, we should uh, uh, improve the compliance procedures further. So, the income tax department has been roped in by the government to tap illicit incomes rigging the goods and service tax regime. What are the details of that? The government has been working on improving compliance at the systematic level and at the enforcement level. Of late, cons concerted action is being taken to ensure compliance in the GST, net pooling data with states, the income tax and customs department banks and other agencies. The recent development comes as a part of crackdown against 7000 fraud companies identified using data analytics tools. Any income traceable to the use of fake bills and other GST frauds shall be considered concealed income and attract severe penalties. So what is the summary is that the finance ministry is improving the compliance procedures to crack down the GST frauds. Next, there was an editorial in Today Hindu that is don't ignore the women farmers. What is the author uh, information is that the women playing a significant role in the Indian agrarian setup but they have not been recognized commensurate to their contribution. Their, the agriculture census reveals that 73.2% of rural women are engaged in farming activities but only 12.8% own land holdings. The gender angle of the recent enacted farm laws also not this was in news because the recent farm law also, also not addressed these details. Next, anti -dis an anti-disclosure amendment to amendment that hits public health. There was a recent amendment in the Patent Rules 2020, which revolves around Form 27. So earlier uh, uh, form 27 says that we earlier uh, there should be disclosure of the uh, 
working information but the inventors or patentees are not used to do that so th that was a lo long pending thing but the amendments made uh, no need to provide that information itself here we can see the farm now requires the patentees and licenses to provide only the following information whether the patent has been worked or not if the invention has been worked the revenue or value accrued in india from manufacturing and importing the invention into india and if it has not been worked reasons for the sale and steps being taken towards working okay next nendran banana scientists at the csi or national institute of interdisciplinary science and technology in kerala have come up with a new product banana grit or granules developed from raw nendran bananas changalikodan nendran banana is a banana variety originated and cultivated in changachikodu village of thrissur district in the kerala state of india changalikodan nendran banana is also known as changasikode banana the nendran banana has a gi tag this banana has a gi tag so it will be important to know that uh, whether nendran banana is a, has gi tag or not you can say that it has a gi tag last news last last but one of the important news china amends defense law to boost war preparedness china president has signed an order that has amended china's national defense law the amendment gives that central military commission which he heads greater power in mobilizing resources to protect a new and broader definition of what constitutes the national interest the broader goal is to speed up the modernization plans for the people liberation army the revised regulations on the military equipment focus and war preparedness and combat capabilities the amendment has broadened the scope of the key security fields beyond land borders maritime and air defense to include outer space and electromagnetic networks so g zing p is amended defense laws to boost war preparedness thank you for listening to today current affairs we'll meet you soon we'll meet you tomorrow thank you very much